Wendy, welcome to Walking Women in Business. I'm sorry that you're not going to be able to make our meeting. Well, thanks for doing this, Susie, because this is, I know, the, the next best thing for <laughs> not being there, but it sounds like it would have been a fun event to uh, be part of. So. It is a fun event. And but hopefully all... I'll be in the ocean in San Diego and, you know. <laughs> well, good. remember we're voting. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to have any, yeah, okay. So welcome. Anyway, Thank you me. are, um, congratulations for being nominated as Thank you. our it's 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 really quite an honor. Good, I'm yes. glad. Yeah. We're very happy to mm -hmm. have you as one of our nominees. What we want to do tonight, this is also obviously very um, informal. We just mm -hmm. want to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. So all of our members can find out um, more about you, mm -hmm. about your business. Hi, members. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so you're kind of going to just talk to them. Really. Okay. I'll guide you if we all need right. to go I'm that way. Back but, and forth. Okay. Um, tell your story. Tell us how you came to be. Did you grow up here? How'd you get here? How did Avenue Bread come around? Let's just start with that. Okay. Uh, I went to college here um, from 87 to 91 and graduated with a you know business administration degree. And like so many others, uh, left and came back. So I went down to Seattle for 10 years and um, you know worked in the, uh, the real world for a little while, but then uh, went back into, I never really left the restaurant business. So I was managing a pub, uh, managing a pub down there. And I uh, met my husband down there and started a family down there. And um, in 2001, uh, I was a full-time mom for Madeline, who was two at the time. And, you know, that was, um, I liked being a full-time mom. It was very, it was very uh, different than what I was used to doing, having, you know, been through the restaurant and managing and things like that. But it was, it was, it was really a neat time to just devote myself to, uh, to Madeline. So, um, and, uh, but um, in that, the, during that summer, uh, John lost his job, and we were all of a sudden sort of wondering what we were going to do. And I came up to Bellingham just because we would often come up and visit because, you know, that's what happens after you leave. You come back and visit. We were out of Lake Pad, and I realized that, you know what, hey, I, I could live here again, you know, and raise a family. But I remember the day that we were moving out uh, of our house in Seattle, um, my dad was like, oh, yeah, by the way, the bakery's for sale that your brother works at. You know, it's oh. called Avenue Bread. So you should go <laughs> talk to him. I'm thinking, you know, I'm so stressed out, and I'm <laughs> thinking, sure, Dad, that's what I'll do. But, um, but I did, <laughs> you know, because when I came, when we came to town, it was uh, we I saw, you know, we went and visited the little the little cafe, and it was like, wow, this is cute. You know why? We also know, you know, we had also known that it was had been for sale for a year and a half, and. Um, you know, so we're like, what's wrong with it? You know, <laughs> right? And, but we did our, our due diligence and um, and realized, you know, that it was a good business. They had created really a neat a neat product. The the, the previous owners. And this is the Avenue Bread on Railroad. Yes, the original. It was okay, just the one on Railroad. So, okay. so we um, you know, we uh, put an offer in and of what we could do, and we had, you know, family help, you know, step up and and uh, you know. Would the Island Bank believed in me? <laughs> and uh, thank you, Peter Cuphill. And um, and and uh, they they said yeah. So you know we basically you know came to town and had to buy ourselves some jobs. But it was fun because <laughs> you know on that day of, of transitioning, you know that night those those sales were like ours. I mean it was really it was really neat going from you know managing restaurants and things like that to owning. Your own business. Having it, your I baby. mean that that first day of sales, there was there's almost a oh, so this is why <laughs> people own their own business. This is nice, and and it was neat having you know we just at that time I think we had maybe twelve employees, and um, you know and uh, fortunately we, the bakers came with it. We didn't know how to bake bread, but fortunately John did, and he you know and he was able to step in you know with a product, and uh, I was able to to run the business. So you know shortly thereafter. You know, along came Emma, and it was really, um, we really became integrated into uh, Bellingham, you know, through Avenue Bread, mm -hmm. and it was, it was really a neat time, and since then, 2005, we opened up Fairhaven, 2008, you know, James Street, um, and then last year was a really, bi really big year of, of uh, buying, the, buying the, the, um, the Humboldt location, moving the bakery out of uh, Railroad, and then... Um, Putting uh, and then remodeling the railroad location. Wow, that's so, yeah, a lot. Yeah, last year was a, was a was a giant year, and so you've really yeah. grown the business into yes an empire, really. Yeah, well, that's and a you big have word. how many people yeah. do you employ? We now have uh, seventy plus employees. Wow, that's yes. fantastic. Yeah. And it's um, you know it's a big responsibility, and and you know it's important that I know 
I know all the employees, but I, but at this point, you know, what, what's also obviously developed over the years is the team. Right. And you know, these are the people who I've, uh, you know, obviously when you when you run your own business, you need to know your strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> I'm more of the entrepreneur. I'm more of the innovator, charge ahead. You know, this is the direction we're going. Um, you know, but at the same time, you know, the business needs to be maintained. So I've I've really gotten the team of people who've done that, and then also, you know, uh, with uh, with some of the team members have have you know um, strategic people involved too. So that's great. Yeah, I really count on them, and it's neat to be able to you know know that I can take you know a day off or a you know a week or whatever you know <laughs> like next week. Um, to, and, and, and know that it's, in, it, that it's in good hands. It just keeps on running. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a neat feeling. And that, it, all, it makes me feel like, you know, I've, I've, I've accomplished the vision that we had, you know, ever so long ago. It sounds like you have. Yeah. You know, as I said, I've been a, a manager, you know, at other places. And, um, you know, being a manager, you know, is great because you have the responsibilities and things like that. But when you cross into the entrepreneur, I mean, that's really when you get to, be innovative and creative mm -hmm. and you know it, it's up to you and you have a lot of people relying on you relying on your decisions um, and and you have a, a, a you know you, you have a community that you're part of so um, and that's really important right now to me as we I think we're about to you know we, you know this this last year it's just like taking a breath and I you know I have a vision now of the next uh, the next step and and I'm really excited about it Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah, I've got these ideas going on. I can't even, you know, <laughs> I, I would tell you, but, you know, it's a letting secret. out some secrets. With, you know, with Avenue Bread, I know, you know, we, we obviously sell a product. We sell, you know, great bread, and then bread's made by people who live here, and, you know, it's a, it's a you know, the sandwiches are fantastic and everything, but it's, it's really um, a, a feel that people go to Avenue Bread for. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when I think of community pride, you know, I think of things like uh, the farmer's market, mm -hmm. Boundary Bay, um, Mount Baker, uh, Ski to Sea, you know, Woods Avenue Coffee. Bread. Avenue Bread, <laughs> right, I don't want to be, I'm biased, but you know. <laughs> but you know what I mean, I mean, and, and you know, so I think of local products, local, you know, uh, events and things like that, and it's really important for me to make, you know, Avenue Bread part of that community pride, um, because that's what people come, come for. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so speaking of community, I know you're involved in many, many different ways in a lot of different organizations, and you probably don't have time to list all of them. But tell us a few ways that you give back to the community. Let's see. Um, in the in the past, I have, uh, as far as events go, I uh, was was part of the uh, the Dirty Dan days. Oh yeah. You know, in Fairhaven, mm -hmm. yeah. We donate mm -hmm. bread to, you know, to all of the events that we can. You know, there's a lot of auctions that are in town. Those mm -hmm. are always fun to go to, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, hospice. Uh, women care shelter and so we, we always are donating um, you know bread <laughs> it's called bread for a year and it's uh, you know and that's a fun fun thing to auction off uh, I'd like to have that yeah yeah it's <laughs> kind of fun and then um, we just uh, what we have we, we just did it last quarter and we started up again in September is uh, project needed go <laughs> I love it yeah right and um, and that was with for Bridget Collins okay so 25 cents of every loaf we sold in our shops went to uh, Bridget Collins. So we raised over, I think, over 1,500, and so we'll start it up again. So oh, that's great. You know, and that's and that's neat. I mean, there's a lot of uh, great local charities um, mm -hmm. that uh, that need us local businesses, right? You know, to uh, you know to be part of. We've had ski to sea teams. Oh, nice. You know, that's not necessarily an event, or you know. Charity, but it's still just our, you know, our presence in the Absolutely. community. Absolutely, yeah. And a lot of our um, uh, bread, uh, you know, at the end of the day, goes to uh, the food bank. The food bank okay. is a recipient of our, uh, a lot of our loaves. Very and nice. um, you know, a maple alley in. Okay. And oh, I could just go on and on and list you all the places. You probably places could go on and on. That, yeah. So at so the end of the day, plane to catch, all so of our <laughs> dough goes somewhere. Yes. <laughs> I gotta go on vacation. So, all your dough yeah. goes somewhere. Yes, all our dough goes somewhere. <laughs> yes, yeah, and that's yeah. Okay, so that's, that's important. Very cool. Mm -hmm. What can women business is big on mentoring. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of who we are and what we do. So we are wondering about you as a mentor. Are you a mentor, and um, who mentored you? Mm. You know, I've never. Uh, you know, to be honest, I've never really seen uh, myself as much of a teacher. You know, but um, you know, I but. When I you know brought this up to somebody, they're like, "Well, yeah, but look at this, this, and this," and it's like, "Oh, is that what mentoring is?" 
So um, I have, you know, I, I, I'm really proud of some of our, you know, our, of my whole team, but some of them have really come far. Um, and, uh, you know, Jamie uh, Schmiel, Schmel, she came to us as a front staff person and um, she used to work for, you know, our house deli. And, you know, over, over the years, she has, you know, with me working with her, she's developed into, you know, a really important part of the team. Today she's, um, yeah, she runs a group lunch program, she runs a human resource depart you know, department, she does, she's learned a lot about just uh, the administration of, mm -hmm. of, of, of a company like Avenue Bread. Sean is our bakery manager, he, you know, he came with the place when we bought it. Um, <laughs> and he's still there. And he's still there. And he's, uh, and he's now bakery manager. So, uh, Robin, who's our general manager, as you know, he started out by, you know, getting a loaf of our bread from uh, the food bank, and you know, today he's running Avenue Bread, and he's really my wow. right hand man. Wow. You know, and part of the the, the strategic planning um, as well. I, when I first heard of this, you know, nomination, there was a part of me that's like that was thinking, okay, whoa, whoa, not yet. You know, <laughs> I'm not I'm not ready to be you know businesswoman you know of the year yet because I'm I, I there's so much more I'm in the process of doing, uh -huh. and you know, it made me think that that. It's not necessarily a destination that you get to. It's actually really a journey of uh, becoming that business person you want to be. And um, and actually, the this this whole nomination thing has you know been sort of a, a, a kick in the pants. Sort of like, hey, you know, <laughs> what more could you be doing? You know, what what else could you be doing in the uh, in the community? What else could you be doing for for mentoring? So. Believe it or not, it sort of kick-started a, uh, an, uh, an MIT program, Management and Training, um, at wow. Avenue Bread. Because we have, you know, we have a lot of people who, you know, are fresh out of college or going to college, mm -hmm. who, you know, very well could become, you know, part of the growth of Avenue Bread if we mm -hmm. are to open up, you know, new, new places. Because we do, we do hire, you know, obviously within when it comes to, you know, moving up the line. So, mm -hmm. um, putting sort of um, programs in place where they can really become part of that team and, and, and develop uh, develop them even more. And so so yeah, I mean I think this you know, this this uh, you know, this nomination process has been kind of uh, kind of a you know, a little bit of an eye opener um, for me and I and I and I thank you for that. Well that's good. Yeah. That's very nice to hear that. Well yeah, yeah. Makes it's kind of feel like I got big shoes now I gotta fill. <laughs> you know, even just being nominated is like, oh I guess I gotta be a good business person, you know. Very cool. Yeah, right. So tell us what you what do you like to do in your spare time? Do you have any spare time? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, you know, believe it or not, just you know, because of the team, and because you know we've put these you know people in place, you know, I, you know, if I want to take a day off or you know some time off or um, a week off, you know, um, everything, you know, I think it's very important that when you have a business that you you know it's running well if you can remove yourself, right. You know, and then uh, and, and everything just keeps right on going. You know, I might get a couple of phone calls. And you know, having the you know the the, the farm that we do out there, the petting zoo. <laughs> um, you know, it is it is it's a really special place to you know to spend time with the girls. And so, you know, and they're nine and thirteen, so they uh, they need mom. And I guess you know, I and, and obviously I'm going to be a mentor to them, sh showing them. Um, you know what it's like to you know run your own business and you know the, the benefits of that and how to lead people and then you know I, yeah I don't know if they'll, they'll follow my footsteps or not but you know I can show by example you know it's it's important it's important to have to not lose yourself right you know uh, it's important to take time to yourself to exercise to uh, you know to take time off to have that uh, you know that that time with the family you know it's you know scheduling the big the big rocks. And we, I didn't ask you about your husband. Tell us about... John I is, um, yep, John is awesome. He is, um, you know, he's, he's now m mostly in charge of sort of the maintenance of all the, you know, the, 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 uh, the facilities, including okay. the farm. So of course, we both play a role in, you know, juggling the kids around, especially during the summer. Yeah. You know, it's a, a challenge getting um, them to all their places. So uh, you, we're, we're a really good team. That's and we great. have been from the very beginning. Yeah. And um, I couldn't have done it without him. You know, being you know, being, being partners, and it it never it you know of course we have our moments, <laughs> but um, well. but it's never been you know much of a you know because I'm I'm a bit of a control freak, <laughs> so um, you know bless his heart he has you know he he knows that and he you know handles it just uh, just fine so um, yeah he's he's really the saint and all of it but it um, but yeah it's it's a it's a good partnership.
really your partnerships. What's the book that you have read most oh recently? Oh my gosh, I could go on and on. <laughs> Books are my main source of inspiration. There are so many good <laughs> books out there. The one I just mm -hmm. read that was that has been a really, um, is just what Avenue Bread needed um, at this point is, is a book called uh, E-Myth. E-Myth. It's an older one. You know, and they re they rewrote it. But I've read a lot of other books like uh, Good to Great mm -hmm. was, was 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 very powerful. Uh, a book called Switch. Mm -hmm. um, and um, let's see, you know, there's you know uh, Stephen Covey's. Okay. Are always you know with the time management yep. part. So I'm always kind of going from one book book to the next. And um, but even you know more of the new age ones like Mike Mike Dooley's uh, you know uh, Infinite Possibilities okay. or you know the. Uh, you know the ones I am. I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. I know it's, it's worked. It's worked very well for me. Secret. Yeah, yeah. And so I mean, for me, that's um, I, I have evidence of that all all around me. Right. And you know, the power of your thoughts is is incredibly, um, you know, uh, an incredibly big part of your life and, and what what you see when you look around. So yeah. sorry, I keep up first over there. And it's it's important just to keep keep growing. Yes. Right. Never keep stop learning. Up. Never, Never stop, stop moving. moving. I just read one. Um, actually, it's called um, "Get Out of My Life." But first, can you drive me and Cheryl to the mall? <laughs> okay, this is about teenage. For your teenage daughter. <laughs> yes, and it, it just nails it on the head, and it's like, oh, oh, okay, that's why she's doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna stump you on this one. Oh maybe. no, maybe we'll okay. see. Okay. If you were a superhero, <laughs> what would your superhero powers be? <laughs> oh my gosh, we did this the other day at the dinner table. You did? Yeah. And what was um. No, but we were villains. Oh. Yeah, right. So this was kind of, uh, that was kind of fun. But if I was a superhero, um, okay, so reading minds wouldn't be really a superhero type of thing. But that would be really a great, you know. Um, okay, yeah, you're stumping me. I'd have to fly because that would be fun. Uh -huh. Flying would be amazing. We all do it in our dreams. But. Right. So um, I fly... And I also, um, and I also change people's thoughts <laughs> into positive thoughts. So like if, you know, Robert's about to, you know, go into a bank, I would like change his thoughts and he'd be like, oh, why am I doing this? I have plenty of good things in my life. Or blah, 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 blah. How, would that, would that, is that cheesy? Is that too bad? It's cheesy, but I think it's fantastic. You know, I'm just thinking, you know, what, no, what, what's, a, what's, a, what's a benefit? I could be elastic, you know, but that doesn't seem to have a whole lot of... I could be fast. Elastic. Right, but I'd have to fly. Somehow or another, i gotta, I got to fly. Don't you think? I think so. Without a cape. I think that says a lot about okay, you. Okay, good. Right. I think flying would be Or just be great. jumping really high. <laughs> that could be good, too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't see that one coming. But yeah. Any last thoughts you want to uh, share with our members? Well, um, no, I wish I could uh, have had a chance to meet everybody. Um, you I will wasn't, at the banquet? Uh, at the banquet, yeah, I know. Over. I wasn't able to make it to the um, fashion show, which I heard was a great It was, great it was fun. very fun, yeah. yes. Right, and so, um, so yeah, I, um, you know, thank you for letting this video be a, a substitute for the real me, but, you know. Of course, getting up and talking to a bunch of, bunch of people would have been like, ah, so this is great. <laughs> Somehow, so, yeah. I think you would have done just fine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So. Thank you, Wendy. No, thank you for taking the time.